What about? <laughs> Welcome oh, to the Twilight Zone. We have Scott and Shorty here for What's Up Wednesday. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. We're going to tell a few bedtime stories. Hope you don't get scared. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone to What's Up Wednesday. Scott and Shorty here, Campus Smilers and everyone in between. This is an opportunity for us to share with you a bit our part of our journey on the business of smiles, where we're it's time to reconnect. It's time to bridge the gap. That time is now, and it all starts with a smile. What a week, Mr. Carson. What's been happening, my friend? Well, Shorty, a lot, as always. <laughs> as if, like, that's the one thing, right? I reflect a little bit uh, lately about bits and pieces. I'm trying to put together um, a bit of a package at the moment, which I'll talk about a little bit. But just reflecting on the journey. And every week we turn up, every week something amazing and something exciting has happened. And I'm just, I'm so grateful that we're a part of this community, that we we do this, we create smiles, we we create an impact in our way. But I do want to talk about something first and foremost, apart from my lighting, which seems to be coming from underneath. <laughs> I got a little bit wrong. I've tried something a bit different tonight. And like you and I always do, if we got to try things, right? The same way we find out whether or not they work. But how's things, how's things up in Northern Rivers? Because it's raining again. A lot. Just a tad. So... <laughs> Last 48 hours, it's been a journey, um, particularly last night where we woke up and uh, all the streets were flooded um, where we are, which was pretty hectic. Um, roads were cut off, um, people stranded again, people being evacuated in, in Lismore and Ocean Shores and Mullumbimby and even Ballina. It was it was crazy. And just see social media light up of, of photos and images of – of you know people evacuating and moving and all that kind of stuff it was just it's been phenomenal then so we head down to uh woolworths just after eight o'clock and then just to get a couple of supplies for the next couple of days because we didn't know obviously from last time <clears throat> what happened was that when the roads cut off there was no trucks to get in um so there was a massive food shortage uh, and a petrol shortage because the petrol ran out so we just got a couple of supplies just to, to get us through. Uh, but, you know, hearing from two hours later, there was nothing left on the shelves in the supermarkets. Um, and it's been been one of those chaotic days of, you know, more rescues been happening, um, updates here, updates there. But the difference was, was this is rain affected. It wasn't river affected. So um, a lot of drainage took out. Uh, throughout the day, which was great, sun came out finally. It's like, what's that blue thing in the in the sky? It was it was it was actually blue um, instead of rainy clouds. So it was nice to see some blue sky. So hopefully, over the next couple of days, things will sub subside, and um, yeah, we can start start the clean up once again. It's just been been crazy. Kids schools cancelled the whole bit. So um, hopefully, everyone is safe. Hopefully. Uh, it wasn't as, as crazy as uh, last month, but just within a month, two two flash floods. Incredible. What a journey. What a journey. How's it feeling? You've just moved up to the community, right? You moved up there this year and you, you, you're enjoying being a part of the community. How's it feeling? It it it's feeling beautiful. It's really feeling connected, like the ability to just, you know, I'm in a bunch of different, you know, groups up here and just to, you know, message goes out, hey, you know, the, the local Lennox Cultural Centre has turned into an evac centre. Anyone can help out. Boom, next minute, half a dozen people. Yeah, I'm on my way, 10 minutes. Um, you know, the where the kids play basketball. All right, cool. It's been closed today and tomorrow because it's turned into an evac centre. Great. All right, what do we need there? So what's happened is just that response rate from the community has just gone to a whole new level. And the feeling of that's like, oh, wow, that's connection. You know, we're not, you know, people aren't waiting for, oh, what's, what you know, what's the SES going to do? What's the government going to do? No, no, everyone's just in there and just, right, because of what's happened four weeks ago, it's, it, it's, <laughs> All the houses have been, uh, you know, evacuated anyway with all the furniture. But now 
of helping people food clothing just the bare essentials it's just phenomenal to see how people are reacting it's 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 beautiful i mean under the, such such sad circumstances yeah well it's interesting so I've, I've noticed a few people from victoria have even driven up just to mm. go and help out locally like it's it's been it's been an interesting effort because it seems to be a lot more people getting behind each other and supporting one another than it does anything else yeah yeah and it, it is so true right like i've had you know, people drive up from Sydney just to be up here for the week, just to serve meals, um, you know, just to, to clean houses, you know. And when you have half a dozen random strangers turn up to someone, random people's house who no one knows each other, but they're there with a broom, mop, whatever they need, a wheelbarrow in and cleaning a house, it's just like, wow, that's the community spirit. That's that connection. That's that bridging gaps. People don't know each other, but they're willing to help one another to – to get through this these times <laughs> as i say that the rain starts again <laughs> what's the forecast for the next couple of days uh rain i think till thursday lunchtime and then then skies but you know we're all supposed to go to tamworth this weekend for basketball that's probably off the cards now because all the highways closed all all the ways to get there are closed mudslides so yeah you got to got to deal with what's what's straight ahead of you and and that's the i guess that's the resilience right that's the ability to go what's the situation presented itself what's the opportunity mm. all right no use complaining about it what's the solution how we can get into it how is it going to affect others how do we communicate that all right onwards and upwards next <laughs> so that's how a lot of people have been dealing with it so yeah, yeah. and i love that right because it's 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 interesting Right now, you know, up in the northern rivers, we're really seeing, you know, humanity come together. We're really seeing people get around each other. Really seeing people. I like to think it was earning their smile, right? And I actually put it up there today for for this conversation. The fact that, you know, it is a tough time. Things are going a bit sideways. It is chaotic in a lot of places. So how do you smile? How do you smile through this? What is it? What is it that gets you up? How do you dig deep? What are the things you're doing to dig deep? What's giving you the opportunity to wear your smile in situations that aren't great? I think, you know, that's a really good point because I think there's always someone, like the stories that you hear, it's like, oh, my gosh. That's like, you know, they've been taken from their homes all their belongings gone um they're in a, a center or a caravan park where they don't know anyone they've got kids the pets no food and so it, it's just you know what i've got tools i've got resources that i can help and so the ability to help actually then fills me up so the ability to reconnect the ability to sit and listen the ability to move furniture whatever it is allows me to make that contribution but also allows to to fill me up because i know i've got those resources at hand and, and it's a, it's a beautiful gift that i'm honored to have but also to to see others in their own geniuses working their own geniuses and no matter what that is you know providing hot food providing a shelter providing information um, everyone's everyone's amazing working to their geniuses and it's it's an incredible thing to see. And, and I love that, right? Because we talked about that a couple of week, weeks ago, actually mm. working to the geniuses, yeah. not just, you know what I mean, jumping in and like, get some planning going, get some bits and pieces. We talked about John from the Living School who's been amazing at readjusting and replanning because it's yeah. problems are a part of life. It's not the problem is not the problem. It's how we respond to the problem. It creates yeah. the pain, the lesson, or the opportunity. If you can move your way through all three, that's when you really earn your smile. You know, like, and it's it's interesting. Like, it's all those opportunities that you've been through in life, all the opportunities that I've been through in life, they actually gift us our smile. They gift us the opportunity to sit here and it's talk cool. about things and still smile about things because there, real, there is another day coming. There is another opportunity, you know, like there's always things to learn. doesn't matter what happens in life. You can always learn through it. And I think yeah. growth mindset is just so damn important. 
you know, like it yeah. really, really makes a difference. Yeah, big time, big time. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that's happening, and but uh, you've got some few interesting things that's been happening for you over this week, haven't you? Oh, mate, I have. I have. First things first, though. I've got a, and I just for me to you. Thank you very much for sharing what's going on in your community, right? It's your community. It's what it's where you live. It's where your kids go to school. It's really important to support one or one another in those communities. Like it's you and I have talked about this quite often. Um, just about how do we have a big impact? Well, if you have a big big impact in a small area, it actually works a lot more than having a small impact on a big area because you focus on narrow it in on your on your local community and support your local community. That's where your environment is that's where you live i think too often at the moment we've gone big in the global aspects when sometimes we just need to keep it small have a big impact on the small areas so then that can expand yeah so i just i love that you're in a new community you're learning it you're supporting it and i'm, I'm just just proud of you shorty proud of the man that you, you are because you do get involved in everything you know like so thank you Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Oh. <laughs> okay. I, I want to say a huge congratulations to somebody today. Uh, Pete McQuire, Oz Wombat. What a legend. Now, I think I'll probably get him on here one day to share his full story because Oz Wombat's doing a challenge at the moment, the Soldier on March on Challenge, and he just clocked up 500 Ks. Hey, Whoa. Right, mate, thank you. 500 clicks, right? Now, wow. he's doing this to raise awareness around PTSD. Now, Wombat's been through uh, an, op an opportunity that I uh, would rather talk about with him on camera because I think that's only fair. Um, however, that's gifted him the opportunity to want to do more inside the community, he wants to do more inside uh, PTSD and support one another through those opportunities quite often you and i we do these challenges because we do them for ourselves so we feel better so we do better than the people around us he's doing that right now <laughs> hey that's awesome i'm so glad you're here uh well, mate, i really appreciate that because it's these opportunities that earn smiles right this is who we're talking about we're earning he's earning his smile he's been through something that wasn't pleasant and he's done putting his best step best foot forward in order to grow through the opportunity. And he's taking people on the journey with him. Grab a hold of him, check out his page, get behind him. I, I just, I love a man that has got a bit of heart and a bit of ticker and gets up and gets things done. So uh, Wombat, I wanna honor you today. The photo uh, <laughs> the photo of actually today's broadcast is actually Wombat myself, Pete, um, which is just amazing, I, I, I love that. and the. The randomness of that photo is just stunning because I'd literally jumped on the scooter, gone into Frankston with Oscar, and I seen a guy. <laughs> I seen a guy with um, I seen a guy with the uh, t-shirt soldier on, and I'm like, giddy up, march on, and I said, mate, I just want to congratulate you for doing doing that. I think that's awesome, Scott. Oh, mate. <laughs> Oh my mate, how are you? Fantastic. And that's, but that's the power of a smile. It's the power of community. Yeah. It's the power of talking and knowing your community, getting involved in your community because you get to know the people, you get to experience the things. But today, mate, I want to honor you. Uh, I'm really proud of you for what you're doing. I'm really proud of you for stepping up. I'm proud of you for having a crack. It's just amazing, mate. So good on you. I'm very happy with that. All right. So, yeah, yeah, big effort. But we'll probably grab him on at another point. Um, yeah, again, it's been a big week and I want to talk about socks. I want to talk about why it's important for people to buy the socks. I want to talk about why it's important to support us, to support others. As we said, people stay in their genius, right? Keeping people in their genius is so important. My genius is connecting. My genius is walking up to a stranger, thanking them for doing their best and then opening my heart to allow theirs in and then having a conversation and listening. I love it. 
but I'm going to share with you the impact of what happened. I'm currently training at uh, F45 in Caram Downs, and I've got my socks, or well, sorry, our socks are on display there, right? And we happened to sell uh, two pairs the other day. Explaining the impact and the, and the actual context of what happens isn't always easy because we're always in the moment, we're always doing things. But it just so happened this week that I actually went to a, a greengrocer. I won't say the location, but I, I was there and I've gone in, said g'day, just had a nice transaction with the person behind the counter. So I've got to hang on a sec, I'll be back in a moment. So I ran out to the car. Now, because two people had bought socks from F45, they allowed me to gift two pairs. Socks, which we charge $20 for a pair of socks, cost us 10, allows us to take one, gift one. It's one of the most beautiful pay it forward moments we can do. So I've gone into F45 on whatever day it was, and I just said to the head coach, I said, <laughs> I love it, thanks, mate. Um, Actually, I'm going to throw that up there. <laughs> I love that. Thank you very much. Love it. <laughs> um, and I've just said, I just want to explain the impact you had because you sold two pairs of socks. So I've gone out to the car. I've gone in with a pair of socks. I said, listen, I just want to thank you for doing your best right now. Explain the meaning of the socks. And what happened next the conversation i had next was just remarkable she's actually i'm doing it pretty tough so i can appreciate that she's now actually i haven't been talking with my daughter she's having a really rough time at the moment so we sat and we talked about that once I finished talking, I went out to the car, got another pair of socks, wrote a little message and my phone number on the socks. For those that don't know, I used to support people who were suicidal at a critical point. I'm really good at it. But I was always busy. And I didn't feel like I was making a difference. That's why I do what I do. It's what we do, what we do, so I can create conversation. Because nearly every time it was the fact that they, people didn't have a safe place to discuss the things that are holding the space between their, ear, their ears. The most valuable real estate we have is between our ears. Yeah. So in that moment, I was able to sit there, have a conversation with this woman, create safety enough for her to share her deeper stuff going on share that with a stranger. I may never know the impact of that. However, I do know in that moment in time, she was safer. We had a few, I gave her a few tips and a few bits and pieces on what can support things. What an amazing moment. Mm. But let's think about it a little bit differently. What happens if we didn't have that support? What happens if I don't have the opportunity to create those? People still hold on to those thoughts. People still have them. They haven't processed and they haven't got anywhere to deal with that. That is why I do everything I do. That is why business of smiles is so important. The more we can do the better we all are. So I just want to say thank you to the guys at F45 who bought the socks. They gifted two people a smile and some safety in a time they needed it. Mm. No. So I'm going to drag out of the heavy there because that's a heavy one. But I'm also, I'm also very grateful that we have 
the opportunity to do this. I'm very grateful that we can do this. And this is the number one thing, Shorty. This is the number one thing about all of this. We're able to teach people how to connect. We're able to teach people how to listen. We're able to show people that it is okay to have these conversations. Just got to learn how to do them. Like anything, like walking, we learn to walk, we fall a lot. We, <laughs> we fall over. Totally. But with practice, we become better and better and stronger and stronger. So I just, I'm so proud to be a part of this community. I'm so proud to be doing what we're doing, you know, and I just, I've, I've got a few other little stories in here, but I just want to process that a little bit shortly. How does that feel? Can How I just grab something from again? that? Sorry? Can I just grab something from that? Please. Th that, what you explained there, that ripple effect, look how many people's lives you've touched, you've reconnected. People at F45, you've made a difference in their lives because you've given them that feedback. So therefore, they feel full of the, the, the ability to contribute, to make a difference. So then they go home with their socks and tell their story. So now you've, from those two, it's easily gone to, to four, six, to eight. That, that lady that you went into the shop and had the conversation with and held that space for her, you've made an impact on her life. You've made an impact on her daughter's life. You made an impact on the customer that comes in after you because you've held the space for her. So that, those two pairs of socks has actually made an impact on at least 20 different people. Wow. <laughs> that, my friend, that is the gift of a pair of socks. Well done. Thank you for, for, do, for doing you. That is absolutely beautiful. That is the rippling effect. Beautiful. Yeah, I love that. I love that because I, people who have been gifted socks, the amount of times that they wear them and share the story of how they got the socks and what happens with that, that's they're the big golden moments. That's the big ripple effect. The next person, oh, I can't believe you gifted me a pair of socks. Like, like you know, and it's the story continues and it grows and it grows. And we heard that with Andrea about how it affected um, her mum and how that went through the, through to the uh, you know the local swimming pool how they're all supporting each other down at, you know in Sheffield and it's just wonderful you know mm -hmm. like we live in pretty uncertain times right we're living in times where there's a lot of confusion and a lot of uncertainty a lot of fear. But I have so much hope for us, for our humanity. I have so much appreciation for people because we're all amazing. We're all doing the very best we can. And just to let somebody know that, Jesus makes a difference. Jesus makes things feel so, so different. Like, I love that world. I love that opportunity. Hmm. So thank you for being a part of it. <laughs> mm. I want to give a big shout out today. I want to give a big shout out to a young lady by the name of Shy. I uh, recently met her at a shop where we'll get Oscar was getting some clothes. God, he's funny. <laughs> I love it. He's going. To, he's just starting to get his like. He's just turned eleven. He's starting to get his fashion on and you know, all his fashion. Little swagger. <laughs> a bit of swagger. He's got himself a nice shirt, first shirt, ice cream shirt, bucket hat, and the lady serving him. I'm just. I've looked at her and I just. I might dive into this now, but if we don't get to it, I'll definitely dive into it next week. But I could just feel. There's something in that. I could just feel mm. I said, hey, listen, I've always got my back back on me. I just really want to thank you for doing your best right now. I really want to thank you 
for helping my son just be himself. Uh, she's just rolled up. Gives her a pair of socks. I've got something for you. Here's a pair of socks. <laughs> you have no idea how much I do this. It's been a hell of a week. She goes, can I give you a hug? And I'm like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's just the biggest hug. And I know about you, Shorty, but I love a good hug. I love an all-embracing hug. hug. Just to yeah, hold just, mm -hmm. and just feel one another. And the hug that came from her was one of the greatest I've had. Every part of her is just wrapped around <laughs> and just, but it was just, it was so needed. Mm. You could feel it. It's just wonderful. Like, and it, it's the thing I was going to talk about, and we've got just enough time to talk about it, right? Is our inner voices. Right? How do how do I know who to talk to? How do I know who I need to talk to on that day? Who do I need to be around? Like it's it's fascinating because mm -hmm. I've had people walk with me and they go, "How do you know?" I said, "I just trust that I'm in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. I trust that the right people are going to appear and they will smile at me. They will engage." That, that double look, Shorty. You know that double look when someone looks at you? Oh, yeah. They look away and then they look back. That is one of my... I love that. That's one of my key, yeah. key things. So I just... What is it that makes people connect? Yeah. When they look at you, turn away and look back. Just say hello. Just say hi. How are you going today? Thank you for doing your best. I guarantee you'll get a beautiful connection. I love it. Hmm. So just a little bit of sharing of that, a little bit of the intuition, because I think beautiful. intuition is something for me that I'm learning to understand, I'm learning to listen to. You know, I did a course with Bill Bennett that was significant in learning, helping me learn how to trust that. So, but yeah. Believe it or not, Shorty, 27 and a half minutes already. <laughs> Amazing. Where does that go? Something so different. beautiful. Sorry. Yeah. Well, look, and it's I, I, I um. If you're watching this and you've you've seen what's going on, and there's right behind me at the moment, I'm actually putting together a proposal to try and get some funding so we can actually keep going because we're at the point now where we need to get some funding in so we can get some movement happening. Um, if if you've been gifted a pair of socks. Share with us what it's meant with it for you. Share with us mm. where those stories have gone. Share with us who you shared the story with. Let us know. So then when we're putting together these applications so we can continue to, the um, connection, we've got some amazing things. Like up here at the moment, I've got um, mod uh, giving content of gratitude, connecting with our community without a sale, personal impact, understanding slash awareness of, um, of how you present to others, awareness of how disconnected our community is, helpful, uh, help feel more connected to yourself and your community, allow people to feel seen. These are the, some of the things that, are, that we're putting into our applications. Give us some feedback. Feedback. Love mm -hmm. feedback. Fe feedback gives us the opportunity to grow. Something you don't like, tell us too. <laughs> I'm always up for that because that's, that's going to take us one step closer to something that we all like. So, yeah. So anything on that, Shorty? I that, second that, right, because f for us to continue hennying socks, for us to continue to, to further connect with other others, to listen and to reconnect with others, is we need that fuel, as you keep on saying. So in order to get that fuel, we need your feedback. Um, so what it is, good, the bad, and the ugly, but how does that socks that you've been gifted or you have gifted, what's that experience like? Because we can articulate it in words, but when you actually experience it, we want that, what's that essence for you? What's that feedback for you? So 
send it through on, you know, send us a, a DM through social medias or, or, or email, which is scott at the business of smiles.com.au or shorty at the business of smiles.com.au. Um, and we would love to hear your thoughts. Love to hear your thoughts. So that, yeah, please help us to help more. 100%. And that's what it does, isn't it, Shorty? That's the whole key, right? It's a we together yep. initiative. It's about us doing it together so we can all grow, so we can all have the impact. Because we all live in our communities, you know, like we're, and we want to come to your community. We want to be a part of your community. We want to come and say thank you. Because I, I just, we all need a little thank you at the moment because we are all we doing do. our best, you know? Yep. So, uh, beautiful. All right, Shorty, on that note, I'm just going to say a massive thank you to you. I thank you for fronting up every week with all the you know, bits and bits of pieces, difficulties that are going on up there at the moment. I just sort of feel for you, feel for your community. And um, hopefully when we do our 4 by 4 by 48 we'll get a few people in the sock box to come and drop in, buy a pair of socks, drop them off, and then we can get them up there for you to uh, hand out because I think that's really important. Or hopefully we'll get yeah, enough that I can actually come up and do some listening too because I think – thing is time it's time thank you guys for tuning in really appreciate it send us your feedback and have a wonderful evening thanks guys all right take care ciao uh bloody you got the button oh my gosh you're still <laughs> one day you're gonna have to take it over <laughs> <laughs>